Hi guys, my name is Kevin Lawrence. I started this channel to do photography, still life photography, product photography. In this video we're going to be editing our beer flatly. If you haven't seen the first video where we were working in the studio and, and taking the photograph then I'll link below um, to that. Today we're just going to be diving into Lightroom uh, to edit this and maybe a little bit of Photoshop as well and we're going to create a really awesome looking photo. First things that I'm going to do with our photo is I'm just going to increase the exposure slightly, it's pr pretty much bang on and I'm actually going to reduce the contrast a little. Shadows, I'm going to give a bit more contrast to them, make them slightly darker. And the saturation, I think we could actually bring down not too much. I think it just gives it a bit more of a natural look. And what I like to do sometimes is just add a slight S curve to the image and then moving down here. Now what we could do is increase the saturation of the the red. That's gonna that's wait one hundred percent is really orange and not very nice, so we just wanna increase that saturation ever so slightly. There's obviously quite a lot of magenta as well. I think it's verging on the kind, of, the kind of pinkish side. So I'm going to bring that down ever so slightly. Looking good. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is just sharpen the image a little bring the amount of sharpening up slightly moving down actually what I probably should have done at the beginning was our lens correction so remove chromatic abrasion and enable profile correction as you can see that just fixes the, the image at the sides there, it recognises that we're using a 50mm lens. Don't want to do any of these. Okay, great. I'm pretty happy with that. Seems to be pin sharp everywhere. Looking around, you can see these these scuff marks and, and things like that. And this is because I ended up buying it from the shop. So it wasn't actually sent by the the brewery themselves. I think if you're doing this professionally then you would have the, the, the best can or the best product that's been vetted and, and things. I just kind of went to the shop and picked out the best cans that I could. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I think what we'll do is export it and I want to export it to a specific folder still on my hard drive. Put it into output, in fact, selects. And moving down, I want to save it as a PSD because we're going to open it up in Photoshop. Don't want to resize it, don't need to sharpen it at the moment. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to open up Photoshop. And once we've got Photoshop open, I'm going to open that file that we've just saved. Look at that. Perfect. So let's start cleaning this image up. And I'm going to start with the middle can. Gonna make a duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl J. And I'm going to select our clone stamp tool. Decrease the size of that a little bit. Maybe a wee bit more. And it's fine. So if you press Alt or on a PC and just like that, I'm going to start cleaning up this image. Okay guys, now we've gone through that and I've gotten all the imperfections that I wanted to spend the time and remove. Um, you can see here, if I toggle this layer off, and maybe help if I zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see it. So we've just tidied up this bottom area and I've done that in the, on the majority of the cans, you can see here. That was the dirtiest parts of, of, the, of each can. So I just think it helps make it look a lot nicer. And I think that's almost us. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the image, pleased with the lighting, how it's turned out. I could spend a lot longer on getting even more imperfections out, but I think we've just spent probably about 35 minutes or so doing that. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I think I could add a few more uh, adjustments in here within Photoshop. Uh, again, maybe add, play around with the, the saturation um, of that, that red colour. I think doing that makes it way too orange. I actually like just that's too far, but maybe just bringing the saturation down by maybe minus six. And what we can also do is add in another curves layer and just tweak the shadows ever so slightly and move our highlights a little bit too. I'm going to hit save on that. And what else we can do now with the image is probably, maybe if I wanted to post it on Instagram or something like that, I would crop the image to probably five by four, nice and tall on, on Instagram. Uh, and I think it would work quite well on, on the company's website as well. 
if we were to rotate this, let's have a look. If we were to go up to image, image rotation, and let's say 90 degrees counterclockwise, still looks really good. Uh, landscape as well so the company can use it on their website might even use that for the YouTube thumbnail but that's it guys good fun project I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe to this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one cheers guys